The age of Alexander continues. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Guys, Cedric Alexander had one of the best matches in the Cruiserweight Classic a couple of years ago. It, it was so good, Triple H came out and applauded the man and then signed him to a WWE contract. Cedric Alexander, former Cruiserweight champion, former Raw Tag Team champion. And listen, he's got a bright future. Uh, I think Happy Corbin is the luckiest man in WWE. Why? I would agree with that assessment. Let's talk about this, Cole. From riches to rags, back to riches. How can you not be inspired by Happy Corbin? He doesn't have to rub it in our face. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! This story just pulls my heartstrings. It is great when good things happen to good people. Good people? You think Happy Corbin's a good person? The amount of people he treats like absolute garbage? Hey, Corey, did you get the invite? I sure did. We Me are you. hitting the town. Go Hill and Corbin. Graves, hey, I, Happy Corbin. I never got an invite, guys. There's a reason for that. Actually, there are probably a dozen. Alexander is one heck of an athlete, but lately it's his intensity or perhaps over enthusiasm. that has been the topic of discussion. Since when is intensity or enthusiasm a bad thing? Especially in Cedric's case, as it's only helped him when it comes to the win-loss column. Like you said, Cole, Cedric's quite the athlete, but in order to put it all together as a superstar, he needed a change in attitude both in and out of the ring. And I'd argue that this change has fit him like a glove. Some would say that we truly are living in the age of Alexander now. Then you have a straight-up bully like Happy Corbin standing there ready to inflict as much punishment as he possibly can with a smile on his face. Hey, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, Saxton. If there's any superstar who truly understands that saying, it's Happy Corbin. Corey, we know what Corbin possesses in terms of strength and in-ring ability, but does Corbin fight harder when he has nothing to lose or everything to lose? That's a tough question, Cole. Corbin has seen both extremes, and I'll bet he'll do anything he can to not fall from grace. But the flip side is that he might get so desperate that he will make mistakes. Really just laying it in. From the top. Bomb drop. Good lord. Off into the pin. Not a very effective pin attempt. Take a good look at a real life Titan, folks. And set him up. Oh, the knee to the ace. That's going to hurt. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. Short punch. Knee right to the midsection. Setting them up for the. And here he comes. This changes the game right here. You can say that again, Cole. Not only change it, it might end the game. Schoolboy! 
Shoulders are down. And he gets the shoulder up before two. These men knew this match was going to be held fun. And Corbin's plans failed there. And that failed to hit the mark. And Cedric expected that.